Hey, what's up guys, Jay here. Welcome back to another workout. Today I have a 10 minute functional kettlebell core workout that's gonna help you build functional strength, stability, and improve mobility. Having a strong core is everything. All of our power, all of our force production comes from our core. The core also plays a massive role in stabilizing our spine and all planes of motion in everything that we do in our daily lives. While using machines at the gym can help build aesthetics, these machines often don't work the core in multiple planes of motion and don't require a ton of stability. So using kettlebells is gonna help us build next level functional core strength and build our abs while also building stability and improving mobility and range of motion. Building functional core strength is so important because it prepares us for anything that life is gonna throw at us. From our daily life activities and hobbies all the way into our workouts in the gym and our athletic endeavors. Having a strong core is gonna help us perform at our best reach our highest athletic potential while also reducing the risk of injury. This is a follow along 10 minute workout. We have 10 different exercises. You're gonna perform each exercise for 45 seconds followed by a 15 second rest in between exercises. We're gonna be doing one total set. This is a workout that you can do multiple times a week, two, three, even four times a week to deliver results. You can use this workout as a standalone workout. You can also use this as an ab slash core finisher to finish off those abs nicely. So without further ado, let's start building functional strength and let's get into the workout. All right guys, exercise number one is gonna be the north to south plank. So we're gonna be in a strong plank position. We're gonna pull the kettlebell towards our feet and then bring it back to that starting position really minimizing the shifting of the hips as much as possible. So really lock that core in tight to mitigate that shifting. So working some anti-extension, anti-rotation with this movement. Starting in three, two, one. Let's go north to south plank. So make sure you have a wide base with this as well. So the wide base can help with stability. It's also gonna help minimize the shifting of the hips. We also want to keep the shoulders pretty much directly over the wrist the entire time. And keep the abs tucked in. We don't want to just let our hips sag. Abs tucked in, glutes tight. So I'm using a 27 pound kettlebell here. So use a weight that's going to really challenge you. It's going to allow for you to keep good technique throughout. All right, 15 seconds rest. Next up, kettlebell leg lifts. So feet are gonna be together, leaning back. We're gonna lift up and over the kettlebell, really keeping that core engaged the entire time. Here we go. So for an extra challenge, you can keep your feet off the ground the entire time. But if you need to put your feet down in between reps, that's totally fine. The more you lean back to, the more the core is going to be working. Again, rest those feet down on the ground if you need to. And really squeeze the core, because you're also going to be feeling this in the hip flexors and in the quads. So really keep that mind-muscle connection with the core as well. 10 seconds. All right, next up, plank pull-throughs. So back to the plank position. Kettlebell off to the side of the body. Wide base, we're gonna pull once, twice, three times, and then switch to the other side. So lock that core in. One, two, three, and then switch sides. So here, working rotation and anti-rotation. So really important that we keep our hips and core as parallel with the floor as possible to really mitigate that rotation and build that strength. So move at a nice steady pace. And a nice wide base with this one as well. Let's go. All right, 
next up, hollow rocks. So we're gonna be on our back, hollow body position. We're just gonna be rocking. I'll show you guys how to modify this one too. Cause we're gonna be feeling it now. The core should be lit up. So ideally, toes are pointed, quads are flexed, rocking like so. We don't wanna rock so far up that our feet touch the ground. We don't wanna rock all the way back here. You wanna find that middle ground. Now to modify, we can start off actually arms overhead, knees bent. If that's still too challenging. You can bring your arms to your sides like so. Let's go, 10 seconds. Ah. All right, next up, single arm sit-ups. So single arm, locked out, driving the heels into the floor. We're just gonna sit straight up. Here we go. So notice that lower down with control. You don't wanna just slam down on the ground. So sit up, lower with control. Keep that arm locked out. We're gonna switch arms. We're at about halfway. Let's get one more, then we'll switch. All right, so quick switch. Arms locked out. Drive up. You need to modify, use lighter weight. You can also just use your body weight if you need to. All right, good guys. Next up, Muay Thai knees. So high plank position, nice wide base. Driving the knees to the elbows. Try and make contact on each rep. Nice control throughout. Here we go. So you're gonna feel this really working the obliques. So really try and move with control. Lean off to one side. Bring that knee to elbow. If you need to modify, you can just do spider knees like this. Keep those abs tucked in. Move with a solid pace. Ten seconds. Come on. Very nice. All right, next up. Core twist to sprinter sit up. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna hit a twist and then come back. Sprinter sit up on each side. Here we go. So core twist. Really reaching back on each side to engage the obliques. Then we use those arms to help us up, bringing one knee towards our chest. So be explosive as if you were sprinting. Really locking that core and that core twist. Let's go, come on. Core is burning, come on. Fight through the burn. 10 seconds. Ah. Come on. Ah, nice. Bear plank taps. So we're locked in, locked in to the bear plank. And we're just gonna tap. Hover the knees two to three inches off the floor. Keep your back nice and straight. Knees under the hips. Keep your abs tucked in. So you're gonna feel this in the shoulders, also in the core, in the legs as well. Great full body movement right here. Creates a lot of instability when we reach for that kettlebell and go into one arm. Nice and steady. 15 seconds, come on. Good bear plank position throughout. Minimize the shifting of the hips as much as you can by locking in that core. Ah. 
Nice, all right, dead bugs. So grabbing our kettlebell on our backs, dead bug position, one leg comes out, and then other leg comes out. Let's go. So core locked in, lower back pinned to the ground the entire time. So when you extend that leg out, make sure that lower back is pinned. This is too challenging. Only extend the legs out a little bit. Just need to ensure that that lower back stays pinned. You can also just use your body weight. So you can drop the kettlebell if you need to, and you can come in with just your body weight, like so. Most important thing is that we keep our lower back pinned to the ground. So nice control, really strong anti-extension movement. Ah. Woo! One more exercise, guys. Hollow flutter kicks. So hollow body position, lower back pinned to the ground, fluttering those legs. Let's go, let's finish strong. Come on. Lower back pinned, quads flexed, toes pointed. Oh, you need to modify hands under the butt for support. It'll help with that lower back. If this bothers your lower back or your back's not strong enough, but try and stay here. You can also modify bringing the arms to the side. Ah, oh, fight to the burn, rest quickly, and then come back to whatever modification, whatever level you can maintain good technique. Almost there, come on. Five seconds left. Ah, and done. All right, guys, there you have it. 10 minutes is all you're gonna need to light up the abs, light up the core, build that functional strength. If you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more workouts like this. I appreciate every single one of you for showing up to the channel and getting after these workouts with me. Have a great day of training. Talk to you soon.